Hey everybody, The Germ here with another awesome video game pickup video. Um, it's absolutely amazing uh, when you come across things and you're not even looking for them. Uh, this week has been absolutely fantastic. I was not searching for things this week and people came to me. So here's a little sneak peek of what we got. Got some more over here. Stay tuned and check out what we got. I always love to go thrifting because you really never know what you're going to find. So this week I found something very interesting at the Goodwill. Um, went to a Goodwill I don't normally go to. It was way out of the way, um, but I happened to be in the area. So I said, you know what, let me stop here. Let me check it out. Let me see what I have to offer. Looked through the whole entire store, found a couple little things here and there, some Wii games, nothing exciting, a lot of shovelware. Um, if you're not familiar with shovelware, it's games that basically they just put out. They're games that really, to be honest with you, for a lack of words, they suck. Um, but then I went over to the CD section, and when I was over in the CD section, I always check. I always check for CDs, music that I like, and I always check for video games because sometimes video games like PlayStation 1 games kind of slip by and end in those CDs, end up in those CD sections. And today was one of those days. I got Sega Bass Fishing for the Dreamcast. Uh, this is absolutely incredible find. Um, I haven't seen a Dreamcast in a uh, Dreamcast game in a in a store like that, a thrift store, or Goodwill. In at least two years they're super hard to find and when you usually do find uh, a dreamcast game it's usually one of the sports titles eh, this is kind of a sports title but what's cool about this one is it's brand new sealed i don't know if you guys can see that in the video uh but this is a brand new sealed dreamcast game so very unusual to find a dreamcast game but a sealed one super cool i was super excited to find this uh amazing dreamcast find Next up is this really spectacular find this week. This was pretty cool. Um, so last year, over the summer, um, I ran to a guy at a yard sale and asked, do you guys have any video games? Immediately, the guy said, no, I don't have any video games. A friend of his was visiting him. And his friend looks at me and says, I have some video games at my house. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. All right, yeah, let's go. So I end up going to his house and I pick up a Dreamcast in the box that he thought was new. It was not anywhere near new. And uh, he took my number down, and he said, you know what, just in case I find anything else, he does 1-800-GOT-JUNK, he said, I'll give you a call, give me your phone number. Totally forgot about this guy. So yesterday, he gives me a call, and out of the blue, he says, hey, Germ, it's William. Um, I don't know if you remember me, but you picked up a GameCube, which was wrong. <laughs> picked up a Dreamcast from him over the summer. He said, I think I found something you might be interested in. He's like, I found a brand new Nintendo Entertainment System. So automatically, I'm already psyched. Now, he thought the Dreamcast was new, which it turned out it wasn't. Um, so I already had low expectations. He didn't send me any pictures. Uh, but then when I got to his house, I got this amazing NES box. This thing is in fantastic condition. He said it was from a hoarder's house. And uh, it's the box condition is amazing. I only paid 60 bucks for this. Um, all the foam, star foam is inside with all the booklets, the pamphlets, the posters, the light gun, uh, the console, and the game. So it's 100% uh, original. It's all there, which is really cool. Only paid 60 bucks for this. This is awesome. Uh, he also pulled out of his jacket pocket. Oops, it wasn't this. It was not available. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Gotta love, love doing videos. Um, he pulled out of his jacket pocket. This right here, it is Pokemon Gold. So I'm not a Pokemon fan. Um, I usually make fun of it with my daughter and I call it Pokemon, uh, just so she has to correct me. Uh, very hard to get her in the video, but it's pretty cool. It's about a $40 game. Uh, give him $60 for this, $20 for this. Total purchase, 80 bucks. Um, this alone is worth like 250 bucks, $40. Pretty good pickup. I now have four boxed NES consoles, which is super cool, and all of them are different. Um, this one is in the best shape though, so pretty cool. Let's see what's up next. About 10 minutes after leaving William's house, William texts me and says, Hey, you gotta check out my cousin Eddie. He's got some games too. So I, his cousin Eddie texts me later on and says, Hey, I have some video games. Uh, I said, text me what you got. Let me know what you have. And uh, actually, at the beginning of the video, you guys saw some of that in the back. So we got all these Super Nintendo games. This was a super cool find. 
Um, you don't find Super Nintendo games out in the wild, and there's a lot more than this. There's It's not just Super Nintendo. I'm going to show you guys more as we go through it. So we got some cool things, uh, some games I didn't have. Uh, Ren and Stimpy, Vidiots. I'm actually looking forward to playing that. It looked like a cool game. Not super valuable, uh, but looked like a super cool game. Uh, this is one that I'm going to resell. Uh, I have like four or five copies of this. Super Mario World, uh, super fun game. Uh, but when you have a copy of it already, you don't need it. Try to get some of your money out of the collection to reinvest. Hyperzone. I've never played Hyperzone before. Uh, looks like a really cool game. So we're going to put this over here. That's going to end up in the collection. I'm pretty sure I have Street Fighter 2. Um, this one is in really good uh, condition. This might be an upgrade from what I have already. Um, all these games are in really fantastic condition. You got Zelda A Link to the Past. And, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, I never got past the first Zelda. Um, so, I don't know if I'm ever going to play this, but I have it. Uh, Zelda's cool, but never got really, really, really into it. Uh, funny enough, my last game pickup, I picked up Cool Spot for the Sega Genesis. Uh, here is Cool Spot for the Super Nintendo. I always wanted to play this. Cool Spot is the uh, 7-Up logo, and uh, that's a super awesome game. Let's see what else we got here. We've got, let's go with this one karate game actually it looks like a punching game but i think it says it's karate um but this is best of the best never played it before never was really into fighting games let me know in the comments below what kind of games you guys liked i always like driving games driving games were always my favorite and then uh second i would say light gun games and then platformers um this one is really cool i definitely don't have this this is a uh, super mario world 2 yoshi's island so that's pretty cool that's a cool ad pickup to the game room and last but not least for the Super Nintendo games is one that I've always wanted. And last summer, I came very close to getting one. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Now, this actually just got re-released by uh, Limited Run. Uh, this is not the Limited Run version. This is the original version. Uh, but super awesome to have this. I was at a yard sale or flea market uh, last year. And I asked a lady if she had any video games. And she said I had one for the Super Nintendo, but someone bought it for $3. It was Zombie Ate My Neighbors pretty valuable game it's like $35 game so um kind of shame that she sold that for three bucks I didn't say nothing I just kind of said okay thank you <laughs> let's see what else we got we got some good stuff coming up from the Nintendo 64 cousin Eddie wasn't done at the Super Nintendo games he had Nintendo 64 games also I can't believe it we lost $300 in 15 minutes <laughs> Um, this was pretty cool because I always love to add to this collection. Um, I added a few here. A lot of these I'm going to end up reselling to get my money back out of the collection and reinvest into the games. Uh, so we got a few um, NBA hang time. Not sure if I'm adding that one or not. We've got a low value one here, Namco Pac-Man Museum 64. I get these all the time. Uh, the one thing I'm always missing is the mic. Hey, you Pikachu. Uh, so I got Hey You Pikachu, he actually had the mic. The only thing that was missing was a little fluffy thing that goes on the top. Pokemon Snap. Torok, Dinosaur Hunter. Another low low budget game. NFL Quarterback. Hey, these games don't do too well. They don't usually hold their value. This one was actually very surprising. Uh, when he sent me the picture, I actually didn't even look this one up. I looked it up later when I got home after I purchased all the games. All-Star Tennis 99. I was actually very surprised because usually sports games are two, three, four, five dollar games. They're really not worth anything at all. Uh, this was actually like a $35 game. So keep an eye out for this if you're a video game collector because uh, it ended up being worth a couple bucks. I was actually quite surprised. Then we got some pretty common games here. Actually, not this one's pretty common. Mario Kart 64. Everybody loves a little Mario Kart. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Mario Kart game is. Super Smash Bros. I know I'm adding these two to my collection. These are two I didn't have. Uh, and these are the two most valuable uh, games that were in this particular collection of N64 games. Mario Party 2, which now I have every single Mario Party game. And Paper Mario. This is like an $80 game, so this is a pretty cool game to have. Um, super psyched to get those uh, last two games to add to the collection. And also even... Uh, the All-Star Tennis 99, because that is another game I did not have in my collection. Okay, the N64 was awesome. There's still more. 
Now, I'd love to have Game Boy stuff. You guys saw in the last video, I uh, picked up actually quite a few uh, Game Boys that were boxed. Unfortunately, uh, Cousin Eddie did not have a box for this one. Uh, I believe this is the teal Game Boy uh, color. If anyone is uh, not sure if I got that color right, just leave it in the comments below. Um, but I don't think I have this color yet. There was no um, no battery corrosion in the back. has the back. That was pretty cool. I'm glad to have that. Uh, he also had one of the Super Nintendo uh, games in this little plastic case, the little Nintendo case. I'm not sure where exactly these came from. I think they might have been rental cases at some point. And then Cousin Eddie, I love calling him Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie pulls out all these PlayStation 4 games. And he says, hey, I got a bunch of PlayStation 4 games too. Do you want those? So Cousin Eddie gives me a couple games that aren't really worth anything. Um, Star Wars Battlefront. Assassin's Creed Unity. FIFA 16. Gotta love me some Call of Duty. Bloodborne. Thank God I don't have any trolls on my channel. This one, this is where they start being sealed. They're brand new. I have the same problem. I have games that I've never gotten to. I think we all have at least one in our collection. Um, if you're a collector, you have way more than one. Uh, so, uh, Rainbow, Rainbow Siege. This is sealed. Just Cause 3. And that's a steelbook, too, which was cool. Assassin's Creed. The Evil Within 2. Guys, let me know in the comments if any of these games are below are any good, because I haven't played a lot of these. Battlefront 2, and again, this is another sealed game. These were all sealed games. Sealed steelbook game, a Persona 5. I think this was about $60, $70 game. Okay, and I know uh, this one here, nope, it's the next one. Uh, this one's also a sealed steelbook. I forgot what this one goes for, uh, but sealed new uh, Shadow of War. And that was the gold edition. And this one was worth about 80 bucks. I was really surprised. Uh, Far Cry 5, it's the gold edition. Um, I'm not really a PlayStation collector. I collect some PlayStation stuff, so a lot of these I'm going to probably uh, sell to invest a little bit more in my Nintendo collection. Uh, but still pretty cool. I mean, I really appreciate this. Eddie uh, definitely hooked me up. And uh, I'm going to call him Cousin Eddie now on, too. Uh, his son, who is now 14, same age as my daughter, um, mentioned that uh, he had a Wii U that he was looking to sell and some games. I am so close to a full set of Wii U games, which I have an uh, added game um, to my collection that I'm going to be showing you guys today. And it's a high-end one. We are, guys, just two games away from completing the whole Wii U collection. And then when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and show them off to you guys. So this one actually just got this one over the weekend. Got this on Sunday. I've been looking uh, for this. Um, if you guys are interested in one of these, this is the uh, Xbox uh, Series X uh, 20th Anniversary Controller. Um, so if you guys are interested in these, I think they go for $80 or $85. I think I saw them on sale at either Target or GameStop, one of the two. So just check uh, with Target and GameStop and see if they have these on sale. They're pretty cool. They're like smoked gray. Um, and clear, so I thought that was super cool to add to the collection. Uh, my favorite Xbox controller so far is my uh, Forza one. Just the colors on that one is amazing. Um, have a, another item here. This actually just came today. I was in a Best Buy um, last week, and I've been looking for this game, and I did a double take a couple months ago. I was walking through Best Buy, and I saw this game, and I just opened it, as you guys see, so I hope it's right in here. I can tell it's sealed. Um, and I go, what the heck is that doing there? The next week I went to go get the game, wasn't there anymore. They made this game on the PlayStation uh, 4, Xbox One, and I've seen it on PAL versions of uh, Nintendo Switch, but I haven't seen the US versions, but they're uh, they're compatible with anything on the Switch. That is, oh good, it's the right game, Blair Witch. How weird is that Blair Witch okay, for the Xbox, I hope this sticker comes off, um, Xbox One that is. And uh, I thought this was super cool. I thought it was really weird to see this. Um, it's very unusual. I mean, this movie came out, what, 20, 22 years ago, something like that? I love the movie Blair Witch. I don't know if you guys like Blair Witch or not. Um, Blair Witch 2 kind of sucked. It was funny. When this movie first came out, we all thought it was real. Like, this was the real thing. These people really went missing, and they really found their cameras and footage. Until they started going on late night TV shows, and uh, we discovered all that it was just a movie. Um, it was not found footage, but 
Uh, pretty cool. I'm glad that I was able to pick this up. Um, I've been searching for this for a while, and every time I went on Best Buy's website, it said it was sold out, not available uh, for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Um, I got to thank Ken, the security guard, over at the Cortland Manor Best Buy um, in New York, who, who looked this up and was able to find it. I've never dealt with a security guy at Best Buy that was that awesome, um, and actually looked up a game and found it for me. So um, he looked it up, he ordered it. It actually came today, uh, so I can make this video, and I'm super excited to have this uh, to add to the Game Room Collection. One of my co-workers for months has said that he had a Xbox 360 at the house, the Halo Edition. Older guy, something you wouldn't expect him to have, and he said, I'm going to bring it in for you one day. Uh, well, today, he finally brought it in. Um, this is the Halo Edition of the Xbox 360. Um, the hard drive, I actually had the hard drive over here, so we're good. We got the hard drive. There's something rattling around in it. It does not sound good. And also, it's got the red ring of death. <laughs> so, um, I do have another Xbox 360. I'm not good at fixing and repairing things. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to swap the shell from one to another uh, to keep the shell. And then I'll just throw all these components away because it's really on the outside of this is what counts. And we'll try to replace all of the, uh, the inners with a working one. Um, and it's really just going to be a shelf piece. I have a small Xbox 360 collection. Of consoles um this is going to be the third one in my collection i have another halo one i wish i didn't sell this one but i had a and i made a mistake and i shouldn't have sold it i had a light blue uh call of duty 2 edition uh which was a, a i'm sorry call of duty edition not call of duty 2 i don't know which call of duty was for it was a really weird blue color um and i have the um r2d2 uh star wars edition uh which is super awesome but this is cool it's added to the collection uh the little door spring is broken um, I watched some videos today on how to fix that, and uh, this will be a, a cool, exciting project for me to get to at some point. Last but not least, this was sent to me, priority mail, um, eBay purchase. You guys know, if you've been watching, um, we go to retro video game shows over the fall, over the winter last year. Got one of my uh, retro shirts here. I think this one's for Hartford. Yep, Hartford, Connecticut. This is the 2017 one. Um, I've been looking for my Wii U games. I thought this was the last game until I went through my collection last night and noticed that I was missing two more. Okay, so let's open this one. Let's see what it is. I have not opened this yet, so I'm going to open this with you guys. Um, this is a high dollar game. So I'm excited to open this one up. Wait, oh, God, that went a little deeper than I wanted it to. Hopefully this guy wrapped this thing well. And he, it's funny because he's like, you know, I'll send it to you priority mail. I'm like, I'm not opening it until I got the next video. So it kind of stinks. So I've had this sitting for over a week. And today is finally the day to open it up. And this thing is sealed well. So this is going to leave me with just two, Xbox, uh, two Wii U games to go. So Xbox games. And then my first collection of games is complete. There's a hundred and... It depends on who you ask. There's somewhere between 163 and 168 games, and it depends on what you count. And if you count variants, it's even more. Um, but this right here is the last Wii U game ever produced. Um, this was out special from a company called Limited Run. And if anyone knows Limited Run and they know what Wii U game is, you go ahead and put the comment below before I even open it. And I am super happy and super excited to be only two more games away from a full collection. And there it is, Axiom Verge for the Wii U. So, yeah, this is, uh, it looks pretty good. Wow. It's yeah, sealed up. No rips or tears two games so the two games i'm down to are you guys ready for this disney's planes fire and rescue and accidentally i checked off that i had disney planes fire and rescue and i think what happened was i checked off disney planes and i think psychologically i thought disney planes and disney planes fire and rescue were the same game so i'm missing disney planes fire and rescue and the other one is so stupid it's ridiculous skylanders giants that's it. Those are the only two games. Skylanders Giants is probably a two, three, four, five dollar game at that. 
and uh, the the planes fire and rescue. I just double checked to see if I had it. Um, I want to say the cheapest one on eBay is about forty dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and probably order both of those tonight. Uh, so this way, the next time I do a video, hopefully maybe I could just show you guys my full Wii U set, uh, which would be super cool because I've been working hard on that uh, for the last uh, three or four years, and uh, it's hard to get them now. You don't get them in Game Stops anymore. I still collect them. Um, but you know, if I'm kind of hoarding Wii U games right now, cause I think Wii U and a lot of people are saying this, Wii U is going to be like the next Saturn. Okay. Uh, the next Sega Saturn, they're going to be very collectible. They're going to be very hard to find. It was a very low volume console. It was one of Nintendo's least selling consoles. So I think the Wii U games, if you have Wii U's, hold on to the games. I think they're going to be hard to find. Um, you know, and all the consoles I always find. I find everything. The one thing I never find, two things. Jaguar consoles, because no one bought them, okay? And Sega Saturns. I have one Sega Saturn, and all the time game hunting. I have probably a dozen N64s, probably 10 Super Nintendos. Um, Sega Dreamcast, I have four or five of those. NES consoles, I probably have a dozen of them. You know, they're easy to find. We use... You'll find them out there, but you're finding them less and less. I've noticed over the last two years, you're finding less and less consoles for the Wii U. So if you don't have one and you're a game collector, you might want to pick one up now. Um, and this game, it's only going up. So if you guys are looking to complete your set for the Wii U, make sure you pick up Axiom Verge. I know it's one of the more expensive ones, but believe me, you're going to be glad you picked it up now rather than later. Um, because it's going to go up more and more. And I regret not buying this because originally this was $65. Now it's reaching over $200. So it sucks to have to pay that. But just get it out of the way if you're collecting because it's just going to go higher. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know below. Let me know. Did you guys play any of these games? That whole stack of PlayStation 4 games. Was there an awesome game in there that I don't know about? I always played Call of Duty. I'm also a Grand uh, Turismo guy, so I picked up the new Grand Turismo. I have that upstairs. so fun. Um, let me know. Let me know what you guys like. Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo. What do you guys think the best pickup in this was? Was it the Axiom Verge? Maybe it was Mario Party. You guys let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I am the Germ, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.